thanks a lot. Uh, so this is about presenting my uh, consultancy, my mapping consultancy based uh, in Brussels. Um, and on the left here, you can see a Milano statue of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, the principle of what I, what I try to do for the last, what I have tried to do for the last two years is to merge uh, humanities with uh, mapping technologies. Uh, I come myself from history and from uh, political science, and I tried to improve the way I was analyzing things by doing statistics and geography, and then come back to this uh, policy sector with uh, new ideas and new methods. Uh, so the work is, is not going to surprise you. There's uh, st structuring the data set, clean it sometimes, visualize it, uh, and then what we sell uh, is a map, usually a density map or a correlation map, uh, and an analysis around, uh, around those maps. Uh, I have three case uh, studies to show you. Um, one is a case study done for the European Commission about where their money uh, was spent abroad. So every year, the European Commission spends 4 billion euros uh, in Africa, in the Middle East, uh, in Asia. And every time when, when you read the papers, the EU Commission papers, they say our top priorities is Africa and the Middle East. You know, it's the élément de langage, as we say in, in French. The reality is that EU's money is actually um, spent in a, in a much more broader way, and this is what we have shown with this very simple heat map, and they were surprised, by the way, by, by it, uh, because it shows that a lot of EU's money is actually also spent in uh, America and also in Asia. Uh, and it showed that many member states are actually diverting some of that money for national causes, let's say. So this was uh, case study number one, and then you have a, a correlation matrix also on the top uh, left that we did right before uh, right before mapping. Uh, what we try to do with this correlation matrix is cross the money spent by the EU with uh, World Bank uh, indicators on poverty, on unemployment, on migration, to see if the money spent by the EU was matching uh, emergencies, issues that we see uh, around the world, according to uh, World Bank data sets. Uh, case study number two, which is, uh, which is ongoing, is try to understand better uh, what the elections uh, of next year in Europe are going to, uh, are going to, to tell us. Um, all of this is, of course, respecting EU's uh, standards uh, about uh, the, the way data is, is processed. Uh, here it's about understanding uh, the sociology and, uh, and the anthropology uh, of the voters uh, next year. And a third uh, case study, uh, which I'm also currently uh, working on right now, is try to quantify racism across Europe. So this is a project that is almost uh, pro bono, uh, because this is for, uh, for uh, an NGO. Um, and this is a complex uh, data set, which I, which I cannot share right now, but uh, we have uh, columns about acts, uh, racist and anti-Semitic uh, acts around Europe. And then we have more uh, qualitative data, uh, polling data, for example, which is, uh, which is open source, and also data from, from the NGO. The purpose of this is to try to form, to build an index uh, to measure uh, for each European country uh, its level of racism and anti-Semitism. Uh, I gave you this example by the Institute for economics and peace. This is a map they've done, yeah, okay. This is a map they've done uh, to measure violence across the world from one to five. Of course, the redder it is, the more violent the country is. This is a little bit what, what I'm trying to do right now for racism. Uh, so this is my background on, on the top, um, and it's a, it's a very public policy background. And my purpose uh, coming here is to meet someone with uh, a data scientist uh, background, with both strong statistic skills and geographic skills to uh, uh, expand on projects that have already started and that are going to, uh, to, to arrive uh, in the incoming months. Thanks a lot.
and if you have any questions, I'm I'm there. Are there any questions while uh, Vladimir kind of sets up his topic? The first map, is it per capita or per location? Ah, you're right. No, I'm, I'm going to be frank. Uh, I do not think that we have um, that we have done it per cap. No, I don't think we have been uh, as you know that we have this level of precision that you that you mentioned. I don't remember us having done uh, having done this, but uh, it should be done definitely. Well, it's still interesting. It's still interesting to see where the money is going. But you're right. It would have been even more interesting if the numbers would have been rationalized, um, um, would have been, uh, um, uh, well, divided by, by the, the population figures, definitely, crossed with population figures. Uh, 